right. People moving in, people moving out. Why? Why? Because of the color of the skin. Run, 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 but you sure can't hide. 949 or 242. Vote for me and I'll set you free. Rap on, brother, brother, rap on. Well, the only person talking about love thy brother is the preacher. It seems like nobody is interested in learning but the teacher. Segregation, demonstration, humiliation, immigration, aggravation, and obligation to our nation. A ball of confusion. That's what the world is today. That was just a short version of a song from 1970 by the Temptations. Uh, it's not a rap song, as you can see. It really is a R&B classic, but it's a story that needs to be told and is still in the fabric of what America truly is today. And that song was written 53 years ago. Has much really changed. Hi, I'm Orlando Mason. I'm the guidance counselor, one of the guidance counselors here at Ben Davis Ninth Grade Center. I've been a guidance counselor with Wayne with Ninth Grade Center for the past 15 years. Um, I've been with Wayne Township for the past 23 years. I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I've been a football coach in Cleveland and here in Indianapolis, um, football and track coach for the past 38 years. I'm a graduate of University of Toledo and I earned my master's degree from Indiana State University. No, I do not play an instrument and no, I cannot sing, but I do love music. I think we all have a common bond in music um, and that's my particular music. Uh, music for Black America uh, started way before the turn of the century um, with the slave calls and the slave ships. Slaves were not allowed to sing because they felt that owners, slave owners felt there was singing out signals for slave revolts and so forth. So we had call and response. We had the field holder songs. We had spirituals. We had gospel, even back in the day. Of course, we had the blues. We had the boogie woogies back in the early, um, to early 20th century. Ragtime, jazz. We've had the swing, cotton club music. Uh, we had the sounds of the bebops of the 40s. Rhythm and blues came about in the, in the 60s, along with the rock and roll. Yes, we are part of rock and roll too, and heavy metal. Don't be surprised, okay? In the 70s, uh, we had the funk, we had psychedelic soul, we had disco, we had hip hop, the birth of hip hop. Anybody know the real song, the first original song? How about some Sugar Hill Gang, Rapper's Delight? I'm sure some of your teachers can probably sing some of that song. Uh, we had, in the 80s, you had electro music. We had house music. And then came the 90s, we had New Jack Swing. Uh, you had Neil Soul. In the 2000s, basically until now, you had the crunk music, you had the trap music. So even though I am blah, 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 blah age, I'm old school. Okay, so my music basically came from the 60s and the 70s. Um, black music, what we are is who we are. In the 60s, we marched to the black music. We shall overcome. And we rejoiced to it in church, in so many of our church songs. Um, we have a black anthem as far as lift every voice and sing. Uh, even today, just recently, um, Public Enemy, Fight the Power, Still one of my favorite songs. Yes, it's a rap song, but like I said, I'm old school. So before you had Elvis Presley, you had Chuck Berry, you had Little Richard. Before Frank Sinatra, you had one of the best crooners out there and Nat King Cole. Um, you've had rap, before rap, music, black music was built on the backs of Count Basie, Ella Fitzgerald, Fats Walker, Louis Armstrong, Billie Holiday, Nat King Cole. Okay, black music is so much powerful. It lifts our spirit, it comforts our soul, it pushes our creativity. Um, more music has been copied from black music than any other. Country music, all of the modern day music, disco music originates from 
us, from our black souls, our black music. So embrace your black music, understand it, understand the history of it, okay? Um, as I was saying, I'm a child of the 60s, uh, 60s and the 70s, and it was a sound at that time called the Motown sound, probably the most powerful sound in rhythm and blues at a particular time. Not only that, but so many of our stars of, that came out of the Detroit, Michigan, you know, they were employed by Motown sound. Um, songwriters produced some of the hottest sounds of the 60s. It was owned and operated by Barry Gordy, a former assembly line worker, not a musician. He couldn't sing either, but he had a dream. He had a goal on music that he loved. And he developed the Motown sound and the Motown studio. Uh, it's a small recording studio in the heart of Detroit that became the largest owned enterprise in the country and national music rival. Um, the chord and music discoveries from the Motown sound were Jackson 5, Jackson and Michael Jackson, the Supremes, Diana Ross. You had um, The Temptations. I just named one song called Ball of Confusion, but that's just one of many, many, many songs that was produced by The Temptation. Marvin Gaye, What's Going On, Stevie Wonder, Higher Grounds, um, Four Tops, The Shy Lights, um, Isley Brothers. I'm sure we all heard of Mr. Big. Um, Smokey Robinson and the Miracle, The Marvelettes, Fetch Walker and the All Star, Commodore, Brick House. Come on. I'm sure we heard that song. Rick James, Tina Marie, Undisputed Truth. One of my favorite songs of all time, Smiling Faces. Um, the spinners. So, I mean, there's so many different music, so many different groups that have been produced by Barry Gordy and the uh, Motown sound and so much music that has been built on it. Now, I challenge each one of you younger guys and girls to ask your grandparents, ask your great grandparents, ask them about their music. What did they listen to? What kind of dances did they do to those particular songs. I mean, you, you're going to find the monkey, the twist, the cha-cha. If you like music, it's in your system. It's in your soul. So I just want to do, a, I want to do that little short bit of history on Black music. I truly hope you enjoyed just listening to what I presented. Um, turn on your music. I'm not saying turn it up loud, but turn it up. Listen to it and um, enjoy, enjoy the black experience of what black music has given to us. Thank you very much, and you have a great day. Happy Black History Month to each and every one of us.